is the coal and this is the eye bakes with all of our sweet treats and desserts and everything cooked together and today I will be making a salted caramel cake so the ingredients you will need is some um, milk eggs um, I always combine the corn syrup brown dark brown sugar and butter together and you're gonna need some self-rising flour this is a really good delicious cake for for any like parties or occasions and I really love this cake and it's really good and delicious so let's get started with making it so I'm gonna melt all the stuff in this pot and I will show you what it looks like after okay so now since I got all this melted so I melted it all together until it's homogenous and now I'm gonna add the milk to this big bowl oops oops it is in my list wow it's in here and I'm gonna add the milk and eggs. So now I'm gonna add the milk and eggs since I just melted this in the pot, so it's really hot. So I'm just gonna add the milk. And the two eggs. And mix it up. Add this really really hot pot of uh, mixture. This really good caramelly sweet mixture. It smells so good. It smells like butter and milk. I'm sure this, but who would not like that? Get every last bit because <laughs> it's so good. Right over here, oh, it's still a little milk. Okay. And we're just gonna keep mixing until it's smooth. And once it's smooth, it's gonna look like this it's like a caramelly sweet dessert, and that's gonna happen like that. Now we're gonna add the sifted flour. Gradually, and then I will show you after I sift all this flour what it's going to look like. Okay, so now I'm just going to divide this pan up um, into two pans, which is here. And I'm going to divide it up evenly so that it could bake evenly. Just divide this into two, and it will be all good. in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes until it's risen and it's fully cooked if you put a like a toothpick or anything inside it comes out clean that's when it will be ready so i just cut them into rectangles you see it right there and yeah so now i'm just going to ice it and i'm going to use the buttercream i made it's just a salted caramel just mix butter ice and sugar and salted caramel together and then now I'm gonna be spreading it. It's a thin layer, I'm just crumb coating it so that um, it can lock. And also the crumbs don't like form into the, like appear onto the final, final cake. So 
doing that. And let these cake cool completely. Mine's cool. And then what you're going to do is you're going to drag it in the middle and then you're going to add some caramel in it. But I'm going to keep going and spread it and then I will show you how to put the camel in. So after I um, spread the, the first layer of camel, I'm going to drag it in the middle just a little bit and I'm just going to add the camel in the middle. I'm going to use a spoon and just and then you're gonna add the second layer on top and then you're gonna keep going and then until you build it and I'll show you what it looks like when it's built. Okay, so now since I frosted it, come coated it and this one's gonna look like really flat. So what I'm doing is just now I'm taking the leftover camel sauce that I have and I'm gonna do this, shake it up and put it, I put it in a bottle so it'll be easier. And we are just gonna drizzle it on and you do it for the whole cake. And then after I'll show you what it's gonna look like after. Okay, so now I'm just, um, I just put it on top, the rest of the camel, and I'm just spreading it out um, with the leftovers, just smoothing it out, making sure it um, gets everything and just smooths it out. So I'm just smoothing this out, perfectly clean. And yeah, and then I'm gonna put some sprinkles and decoration on. Um, it's a really good cake for like birthday, celebration. I really love it. And yes, it did take me two days um, to make it. This is the second day, but um, it's really worth it. It's really good and, and delicious. It's very caramel -y. I tried some of the cake and it's really good. It's like caramel -y. It's all good. And it's okay if it's not too perfect because at the end of the day, you're really just sharing it with friends and family and, you know, try your best. That's all I can say. Try your best really happy seeing camel. Salted camel is one of my favorites um, cakes. And okay, so after you're done, you're spreading it out. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. So you're done spreading it out. There's, I put extra buttercream in the pie bag with a 1M tip. It's Walton. I put it in a bag. Um, I like this bag because it has, sorry, it has the hearts, so you can tell when to stop or not, which I really enjoy. And then you're just gonna pipe a little down. So I just finished my piping it on the round, and what I'm going to do is, hopefully, oh yeah, okay, you're going to sprinkle some, sprinkle some top, which I'm going to do by hand, don't worry, I wash my hands, by hand, and just sprinkle it on. It's just for like added color and texture, really. And it's really good, so add that all over. I like to add it all over because um, it makes it prettier. And you don't have to add it, but I'm adding it because uh, I love colors.
And now here is the final cake. And yeah, I hope you really enjoy it and like it. Um, I just put it on a different plate because it was just easier to serve in and out. Um, it was a little bit awkward, so it's a little bit slanted a little bit, but it's really good and delicious and I hope you like it and enjoy it. So if you please like this video and comment down below um, what I should make next because I'm really trying to figure out what I should make next, but I sort of know what I make next. And please subscribe to the Alley Bakes. And I'll see you in my next video on Wednesday or Saturday. Okay.